coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Steadicopter releases hybrid Hilo UAV. John Air Mobility obtains USAF investment. And Joby Aviation begins conformity testing for type cert. Hi, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Steadicopter releases hybrid Hilo UAV. Singapore UAV manufacturer Steadicopter has released the specifications of its Black Eagle 50H, the first of its rotary UAS family. The helicopter is designed for anything from law enforcement, maritime surveillance, civilian survey, and special low-profile missions. The Black Eagle is a hybrid featuring elements of the company's all-electric 50E and its gas-powered 50, resulting in a cost-effective, long-legged platform. Steadicopter says the Black Eagle can fly up to five hours at a time, far in excess of the standard for rotary VTOL platforms. They recommend it as a solid selection for use in, quote, search and rescue, cyber, intelligence, offshore rigs, and high-end naval missions, end quote. The integration of gas power means refueling is a simpler, less temperamental affair, as widely available fuel can be found in every corner of the globe. The addition of the electric running gear also serves to boost performance at high altitude, as it can provide continuous power where combustion engine power degrades. Operators can manually control the source of fuel while in flight, allowing them to fly on generator power en route to the target area when noise is a non-issue. After closing on the target, stealthy flight is only a switch away as the Eagle switches to much quieter direct battery power. Coming up after the break, Solar Farm Drone Monitoring Systems updated. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now it's time for a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Solar Farm Drone Monitoring System updated. H3 Dynamics has continued their quest to automate drone upkeep, releasing additional infrastructure geared at supporting drone fleet stations far away from human settlements at remote solar farms. The new partnership fuses their H3 Dynamics Drone in a Box robots with the visual and thermal analytics from SiteMark in order to automate and scale up remote monitoring operations at large solar farm installations. So far, SiteMark has been deployed for inspection over 30,000 hectares of solar park in 35 countries. Houghton College adopts drone training course. Houghton College has joined hands with Aqualine Drones to offer its UAV pilot course in its course curriculum. For now, the deal is set to last five years, offering online instructor-guided drone pilot training to future and current students. Aqualine courses will prepare students to take and pass the licensed drone pilot FAA exam. The company takes a slightly different tack to drone education, including AI-assisted training sessions and adding an individual flight training component with hands-on flight experience. Astra's first Cape Canaveral launch goes for a swim. Poseidon is four satellites richer following an unsuccessful rocket launch from Astra. The launch was the first time for the company operating out of Cape Canaveral, Florida. Rocket 3 was carrying four satellites from the NASA ELA-NA-41 mission on a trip cut far too short. 
Shortly after the first stage disengaged from the rocket, Rocket 3 appeared to fall out of its previous trajectory. From the camera aboard the rocket, the second stage was shown to ignite and almost immediately tumble end over end, recording for a few seconds before cutting out entirely. Israeli Civil Aviation Authority Grants First UAS Certificate Elbit Systems has obtained a landmark civil certification in Israel with the approval of its Hermes Starliner UAS. The aircraft can now fly within the civil airspace system without requiring segregated airspace along its route. The Civil Aviation Authority of the State of Israel says it makes a world first for an unmanned aircraft. The Starliner weighs in at 1.6 tons, carried by a 55-foot wingspan. It can fly for extended durations up to 25,000 feet and carry nearly 1,000 pounds of payload. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Jaunt Air Mobility obtains USAF investment. Jaunt Air Mobility is one of 11 companies that won a United States Air Force and Special Operations Command investment that hopes to crowdsource development of high-speed vertical takeoff vehicles for use in austere, rugged environments often encountered by the branches. The High Speed VTOL or HS VTOL Challenge is hoped to provide a range of demonstrations to help the Air Force Research Laboratory to, quote, understand how to build a new class of air vehicles, end quote. The contract with Jaunt will see two concepts of the initial proposed aircraft, which will evolve into the multi-mission air vehicle MAV-55. The aircraft is said to combine the speed and lifting capabilities of a traditional fixed-wing aircraft along with the vertical takeoff performance used in Jaunt's journey aircraft. Their specialized slowed rotor compound technologies are part of their claim to fame, offering increased efficiency and minimal downwash during landing operations. The added acoustic benefits also have the makings of an excellent special operations aircraft, allowing for rapid, silent insertion deep in contested territory with minimal downwash effects common to desert terrain. Jaunt is reportedly seen as one of the more competitive among the contractors thanks to their aircraft's reliability, scalability, and production readiness. After these messages, Joby Aviation begins conformity testing for Type Cert. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Joby Aviation begins conformity testing for Type Cert. Joby Aviation has continued their increased flight testing pace established at the outset of the year, moving on to conformity testing on the way to full type certification for its EVTOL aircraft. Joby recently received its special airworthiness certificate and UAS approval for its prototypes, adding a second demonstrator. The company has its hands full between the sustainable air taxi race and their Agility Prime USAF contract, but things seem to be moving apace exactly as intended. Earlier this year, Joe Ben Beaver, CEO, says he anticipated FAA certification in 2024. Joby's conformity testing has been carried out under the supervision and documentation of an FAA-designated engineering representative at Torre Advanced Composites UAS's facility in Morgan Hill, California. The testing evaluates the material strength of the aerostructure of the aircraft, which will form the basis of future expectations of the airframe's strength throughout the following evaluation of the design. 
Each system and structure of the Joby will go through its own conformity testing to ensure it meets requirements for the category, as well as establish baseline data that could eventually act as a benchmark for certain elements of the aircraft during repair or modification in the future. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.